Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about college dorms, and specifically I want to talk about comparing all freshman dorms to dorms of mixed classes, where there are some freshmen and there are people of other class years. I started thinking about this because I went to college for undergrad at Oberlin College, and Oberlin College had one all-freshman dorm, and it had mostly these mixed dorms. And then for grad school, I went to University of Delaware, and I became friends with a lot of undergraduate students there, and I was kind of surprised to learn that the school had almost exclusively all freshman dorms. There were a few exceptions of individual students that would be placed into other living situations, but for the most part, all the freshmen who came onto campus were placed in dorms with only other freshmen, no upper class students living on their halls except for the RAs. And I noticed a radically different student culture in the different dorms. I noticed this both between Delaware and Oberlin, and between the all-freshman dorm at Oberlin and the other dorms. And what I saw was kind of common sense. There was more sort of rowdy behavior, and also more dangerous behavior, like especially involving dangerous and unsafe levels of alcohol consumption, in the all-freshman dorms. It's pretty common sense to me why this would happen. If you have people who are older students, even just being one or two years older, you're going to be a lot more experienced. And people tend to associate and socialize with the people who are around them. So like, if people are getting together, if they're having a party, if they're having a gathering, and they're doing something involving alcohol, it's more likely, if you're in a mixed class dorm, that there will be some older people present. Whereas if you're in an all-freshman dorm, it's more likely that it'll be all-freshmen. And so there's not going to be as many responsible people kind of looking out for things. I think it's really important that this sort of responsible element happens through an organic social connection, instead of an authority figure. Because like, when you have an authority figure like an RA, especially when you have some sort of policy in place based on like the legal drinking age of 21, you're not going to invite your RA to come drink with you. But you might invite someone who is over 21, who lives in your dorm, who is not an authority figure, who is not going to get you in trouble. So if you think about it, it's pretty common sense. If you have mixed class dorms, you're more likely to have older, more experienced people included in alcohol-based socializing. It's not just alcohol, though, that I think imparts a different student culture. There are a whole bunch of things that older students have to offer to younger students. One of them is just being more familiar with the campus, and having more experience navigating the campus's bureaucracy. Older students are more likely to have better study habits, they know a lot of the professors, things like that. And so you come into this dorm as a freshman, this was my experience at Oberlin, I was surrounded by a mix of students, and there were a lot of older students, and I asked them a lot of questions. I was like, hey, do you know anyone who's had this professor? Do you know anything about this other professor? What do you know about this department? Have you taken any classes in this department? And I'd be like, hey, I have a problem with my computer. Like, how does the computer store work here, or the help desk? Things like that. And people provided me with a wealth of information, and it was really valuable to have that information right there. Like, I could walk right next door, and s meet with people who were a couple years older than me, and had all this experience. That was immensely beneficial. When you have all freshman dorms, it completely closes off that type of knowledge. It is a lot harder to become friends with upperclassmen when you're a freshman, if you don't live with them. And this is what I see at University of Delaware. At University of Delaware, I see far fewer friendships between freshmen and upperclassmen than I did at Oberlin College. And I think the school as a whole is kind of poorer for it. Another thing that suffers is student organizations. One thing that I think really enriches campus life is student organizations. I think these organizations are often a critical part of the campus community, and when they're bigger and more vibrant, it makes the whole college experience better. But when you don't have these inter, kind of intergenerational or interclass friendships, it's harder for organizations to maintain continuity. And part of it is that like, when you have friends that are in a different class year, you're more likely to invite them to come to things. So like, one thing that I see happen a lot at University of Delaware, and I see it happen less at Oberlin, is 
that there will be a student organization, and the people running it will all be the same class year, and they'll be trying to get people involved in different class years, but it's kind of hard. And then if they all graduate at once, the organization can kind of die. I see organizations at Delaware expending more effort to bridge that gap than I did at Oberlin. This is another example of something that happens in the dorms. Like, when I was in the dorm, I was constantly having people come by and be like, Hey, I'm going to this thing. Hey, I'm going to this club. Hey, there's this event happening. Do you want to come along? And that's how I discovered a lot of stuff. If you're thrown in with all freshmen, people are not going to be as involved in those student activities. I think this also ties back to alcohol. I think people often turn to alcohol when they don't have anything else to do. So, it's like, if you only see people going out to parties on Saturday night, which is what happens at Delaware in a lot of the freshman dorms, that's what you're going to go to. Or you might just stay home and do nothing. But if people in the dorm are being like, hey, do you want to come to all these other things, you might be more likely to do that at least some of the time. So, I see like this, this cascading benefit. Basically, I think that it, it benefits the student culture, it helps protect people from unsafe alcohol consumption, it helps people have a better experience in college overall, because wisdom and knowledge gets passed down through the class years. I would really call on all sorts of people to start talking about this and thinking about this. I would love to see the University of Delaware at least start to offer some mixed class dorms for freshmen. Especially I'd like to give the freshmen a choice, because right now the entering freshmen do not have a choice. They are forced to either live off campus and commute, or live in all freshman dorms. And I think that's a kind of bad choice. I think that it would be better for them to have the choice of a mixed class dorm. I see a lot of students at Delaware who suffer because of this. I think it's especially hard for students who are not in the Honors College, but who are more academically minded. Those are some of the students that I've seen have the hardest time with the dorm culture, because those people are often surrounded by people who don't take their classes very seriously, and aren't really active in campus life beyond just partying and alcohol use and they feel out of place in their freshman hall. I think that if they were mixed with people who are older, not only would it change the culture in the dorm, but those people could also connect with people who are older and more mature, and more involved in other aspects of campus life, and I think it would help those people have a better experience in college too. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this idea can get out there. I'd really like to see it change at Delaware, and also at other campuses. Yeah, thank you!